we're here celebrating the end of summer at the New York Botanical Gardens with the Edible Garden. And I'm here with Lydia Bastianich, who's actually going to do a demo with us in the kitchen. Uh, so tell me about sort of how you're approaching this, because I know with the garden. Well, yeah, garden, vegetables. So I'm doing, uh, I came with the intent of doing two vegetable dishes. Uh, one, uh, a wonderful salad with celery and mushrooms and grana padano cheese yeah. with lemon juice. And the other one is a crostata. It's like a big tart and with zucchini and rice and all the herbs that I could find. And then I went into the garden and I found these wonderful little peperoncinos and I found this wonderful tomatoes and I found the basil and I found the eggplant. So I added two dishes. <laughs> I'm going to add two dishes. One is the marinated eggplant with mint and uh, poached in vinegar and water and then marinated with mint and oil and garlic. And the other one I'm making a pesto. Pesto out of tomatoes, almonds, uh, basil, uh, rosemary, uh, all the herbs that I found and olive oil and just a little bit of garlic and it's a cold dressing for pasta. Well, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. Let's head on into the kitchen. Okay. And this is Cody Hogan. He's my sous chef in Lydia's Kansas City. Actually, chef de cuisine. Lydia's Kansas City. We were just, filming, we were just finished filming Friday. So he was in town, so I says, come up, I have another job, a little job, you gotta help me. Sometimes, you know, he said, what, what can I do with this zucchini? No, how can I, uh, sometimes they can be a little watery. Well, a crostata like this is really, really good. Okay, Cody, you wanna continue this? So Cody's gonna, sh you just shred it, on your shredder, we'll put it like this with the rice. The rice will pull out the water of the zucchini and it will get embedded with that water. So. It dries the zucchini. When you take water, water out of vegetables, you know, you saute it or whatever, it makes it sweeter, it concentrates the flavors. So the zucchini, we let out its water, we'll moisten the rice, and then we'll put it in this tart, if you will, and bake it. And it will cook because the rice already has taken some water and then we'll put some, some cream and milk. To make the dough, flour, just a little bit of salt, Begin with the oil. And you're used to making, I, I think it's the, the Italian rendition of, a, of, a, of the apple pie crust, instead of the, the butter and the, and the fat, using the oil. And just a little bit of water. Whenever you're making dough in a processor, in a food processor, when the dough begins to collect off the sides, it is, it is getting uh, um, at the right consistency. Uh, maybe just a little bit more water, just a little bit, but keep in mind that, you know, if it's too soft, don't worry about it. You add a little bit more flour and you continue. If it is uh, too hard, you just add a little bit more of water. But it is a, a, a wonderful dough. It, you, can, you can see that it kind of, when it, it, when, it, when it will cook, it will crumble like an apple pie, but at the same time, we'll be able to stretch it out and roll it out. Don't be afraid of dough, you know, so just, and even if you get a little hole, you patch it up, you go over it and it's done. Because once it bakes, it'll bake together. And that's it. So we'll make the filling and then we'll just slip it right in here and we'll bake it. So for the filling, uh, this is, has this been soaking for about a half an hour? Yes, now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, leave it for about a half an hour so that the, the, the rice, as I said, begins to, okay, so you will whisk the eggs, the ricotta, the, those, those herbs out there were so great. Uh, so from here on, any herb that you like, you add, whatever you have in your garden. I hope you have a little bit of uh, a pots or whatever on the windowsill on the garden. This is uh, oregano, margarine, basil, and I will proceed to do the stuffing. Uh, lots of scallions, another underused vegetable. You have it year round, it's great. Uh, use it in soups uh, and uh, in whatever it really is. Uh, I love it. Salt, 
ricotta. This is measured, the whole thing? Yes. Yeah. I mean, I will put the whole thing, I just don't wanna. <laughs> I don't want my cup to overflow here. Herbs. Go right in. The herbs. Okay, the egg. Go ahead, Cody, you mix it. You have your strong grated cheese, grated grana, grana padano. And uh, now uh, we need the liquid. You need the liquid for the rice to cook. And you'll say, babe, this is a little filling that's a little loose. But uh, in order for the rice to cook, you do need it like this. If you make it without rice, if you make Swiss chard or spinach, and you saute it a little bit, and then you finish it with ricotta and eggs and whatever, then you don't need. You need just a little bit of cream to pull it together. But for the rice to finish cooking, and that's interesting because uh, uh, I think I wanted to show you how, how you know, you, you can bake with raw rice and come with a great finished product. This dough, you can make it, you can make it double. It freezes very well. Uh, you can just pull it out and, you know, when you have that kind of unexpected company visiting. So now we just flip the, t the top over, just like that. This and, is a brush. There's no brush, go ahead, you do. So, I, I mean, I've done this before. <laughs> We could, you know, you know what my grandmother used to do? I'll show you what my grandmother, when she used to, when she used to uh, kind of, with the oil, um, do the, um, the fish or something on the grill. Use that, a rosemary or something, a little oil, and you have your grilling steak or your grilling fish. You dip it in your marinade, and then you get a little bit of the aromas. You see, it's a good thing we didn't bring the brush. I taught you one thing. And that gets in the oven. And uh, in the oven, 375 degrees, about 45 minutes. And uh, we have, uh, do we have a finished one? We can put that one in. And uh, everybody loves these. A great way to get vegetables to the kids and whatever. You cut it in squares. I think there's some tasting of these for those of you that are here. Uh, some place down we brought in for all, uh, all of you to have a little taste of the crostata. So I got a little sample of Lydia's crostata with the ricotta and all of the garden vegetables. It looks incredible. Mm. Perfect way to say goodbye to summer.